Welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. Today I wanted to give you a brief introduction to VWAP. What is it and how can you use it, especially as a day trader? So let's talk about it. What is VWAP? Well, VWAP is Volume Weighted Average Price. It's mainly used for intraday trading, also known as day trading. So, in case you're curious, here's the formula for today's VWAP for a particular stock. It is the running total of the value of each transaction for the trading day so far. In other words, the sum of the number of shares bought times the share price for all of today's transactions divided by the total number of shares bought today so far. So in I tried to put that in plain English as much as possible and you don't necessarily need to know the formula to be able to use it but it certainly helps or at least it won't hurt you to know the formula. Uh, basically what it is is uh, today so far during the trading day all of the transactions every tick every price movement in a stock means that there was a buyer somebody bought some stock and also somebody was on the other end of that transaction somebody sold it all right they bought a certain number of shares at a certain price and so if you take the number of shares times the price that somebody bought it at okay then that's the total value of that transaction and if you add all those up the value of all the transactions today so far that would be in the numerator of this fraction okay and then in the denominator would be just the total volume for the day so far the total number of shares traded today so far so that's the best way I can explain it but again you don't necessarily need to know that to be able to use it so basically VWAP is the average price of the stock today so far weighted against the trading volume of that stock today so far thus giving more weight or importance to periods of high volume as opposed to just let's say a simple moving average which doesn't really take volume into account so much that's more just an average of all the prices VWAP is kind of like a moving average in that it it does factor in the price it's it's an average price but it weights it in terms of trading volume so it can give more importance to periods of high or heavy volume much like a moving average day traders can put the VWAP on a one minute candlestick chart and use it as a momentum indicator an upward sloping VWAP line shows that the stock price is trending upward while a downward sloping VWAP line shows that the stock price is trending downward it makes sense if the stock if the line is going slanting upward then the stock price is also probably generally trending upwards at least in the short term and if the VWAP line is trending downwards then so probably so is the stock price at least in the short term. These are all short term here. The VWAP line can also provide support or resistance. However, one of the most common uses of the VWAP line is as a possible buy or sell signal. Buy when a candlestick clearly breaks above the VWAP line and sell or even short sell when a candlestick clearly breaks below the VWAP line. And again, this is not trading advice. This is not telling you what to do or what not to do. Uh, and I don't think you want to use just one indicator to, to base your trading or investing decisions on. Okay, But some people will use this as a buy or sell signal. And notice I say clearly. It has to have a clear break above or below. And we'll show you what this looks like now. All right, uh, this is from tradingview.com, these charts, and so I wanted to give them credit for that. And this is the one minute candlestick chart. All right, so this is, again, something that day traders might use. And each of these candlesticks represents one minute of price action in the stock, or in, in this case, the ETF which is EWZ, which is a, a Brazil ETF, all right? And this is the VWAP line. And notice that it's kind of hovering above the VWAP line. You might consider that a support level here, but then, boom, it clearly breaks below the VWAP, all right? That's about as clear a break as you can get. 
because it breaks way below it for the and this is just one minute of price action so it's really trending downward and so if you owned the stock you might choose to sell there or you might even choose to short it and that would have been pretty profitable for you if you had shorted it all the way down or if you had owned the stock and then sold it here upon this break below the VWAP line you would have been pretty relieved uh, because you would not have been subjected to this downward price action and here's a clear break above the VWAP line and if you had bought here you would have done quite well alright uh, now here's another example Tesla and this is the again the one minute candlestick chart here and you can see a clear break above the VWAP and if you had bought here you would have done okay you might have chosen to take profits here or you could even use the uh, the VWAP line as a stop loss although I'm, I'm gonna caution you against that because notice that the VWAP line can provide support it, it provided very strong support one two you know twice two times and this is just in one day okay so it broke clearly above alright and if you had just held on and not sold until it broke clearly below this is not a clear break below it's just kind of hesitating here and we can see how the VWAP provided a support line here bounced right off of it and then again here not a clear break below and again this was a support line right here okay so if you had bought here upon the clear break here it clearly broke through it and then held on you would have done quite well for yourself and don't get faked out by these not so clear breaks okay because again it could bounce right off of it and if it's below it it could bounce off of it as well it could be a resistance line alright so that was my introduction to VWAP there's much more to learn about it and I just hope that this helped to, to clarify some things for you and to get you started so if you like this video please give give this video a thumbs up on YouTube leave comments and please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can receive the latest updates on my financial educational videos and if you'd like some help with technical indicators or putting together a trading plan or an investing plan which you really need to have if you don't have one uh, or even if you do have one you might wanna have somebody just to coach you and uh, let you know how you're doing you can email me at any time my name is David Modell and you can email me at David Modell at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and listening. I hope this was, this was very helpful to you. And I'll talk to you again soon.